A lot of people are worried about what happens to our domestic car industry and uh, is this in fact a time to force them to build uh, cars that they currently don't like to build at the moment or don't want to build. And uh, to me the answer is yes. I mean, uh, sometimes uh, the medicine doesn't taste very good going down, but if you know your patient is dying, you do whatever it takes. Uh, in this case, maybe it's the equivalent of chemotherapy, but our car companies need it or we won't have them. In, uh, in as little as five or ten years. Um, in my book, Lives Per Gallon, The True Cost of Our Oil Addiction, I actually sadly predict that within the next five years, General Motors and Ford will only be selling cars manufactured in China or, uh, or Korea or uh, other parts of the world uh, nameplated with GM and Ford nameplates because they just don't know how to do this. And I think the intervention by the federal government, especially if we're going to prop them up financially, uh, which may be a perfectly good thing to do to save those jobs, to save those factories. But if we're going to do that, then we should demand that they build the vehicles that consumers actually want. This is not a question of jamming something down the throat of, of consumers who don't want it. It's time for an intervention. Uh, and just like we're saying that uh, the Treasury ought to be buying up some of the distressed banks, not just the bad debt, I think the same thing is true here. We should be uh, not just pouring money into car companies, but perhaps buying their stock and changing their management because uh, this, is, uh, this is neglect of the workers and the shareholders when you see these companies on the verge of bankruptcy when it's not the industry that's suffering. You can look at Honda and Toyota as examples and the Korean automakers as examples of how robust the industry actually is if you're properly managing and responding to what consumers want, which means fuel-efficient vehicles and ones that pollute less in terms of greenhouse gases.